Wow, this is like one of the earliest um, stream starts I've done in a long while. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Just adjusting my mic a little bit. Um, I don't know how long this stream is going to be. The plan is to beat chapter 12 and then hard cut and then basically hard cut until the next stream. I want to save the finale for one extra stream. So we'll see how that goes. If chapter 12 is a little too short, I might switch games before the end of the night or do five hours of pinball, whichever one works out. Please, for the love of God, don't let it be pinball. I don't think I can handle that. So we know who the mole is now. Uh, just to recap, it is Kuroiwa. Backdoor shady policeman. Voiced by Matthew Mercer. We going to Kikunoya? All right. Okay. Let's I, roll, Tom. Now we're gonna go. Last time... Kaito had to see me play pinball. Oh, we're just straight up gonna go. Okay. Uh, there is no side content right now. I think we're locked in. So you know what? That's totally fine by me. He's already getting my ass beat. Jesus Christ! I know I use bikes a bunch, but come on, man. And stay down. Okay, I need a refresher. Uh, okay, we're at 4,000. We're gonna go for the combo speed. I think this... This would be good, but I don't think we necessarily need it more. Because our EX boost enhancement is, I think, more important. So, I'm just planning to get maximum combo speed. And then just going with that for the rest of the game. That seems fair, right? But in all honesty, I kind of want to do some random fights first. Before we head out. And it's a good thing I'm starting early because um, I can't stream too late. This again. Explain to me why did you didn't hop over him, dude. Come on. Oh my fucking god. Like, I just wanted to do this. Just that. That's all we needed to do. Get him, Kaido-san. Come on. That's what I want to see. Yeah, these these assholes are hitting for big damage right now. I'm already getting sloppy and I have a partner with me. Uh, did I eat everything here? I did not. Ah, it's the spot. Um, yes. <laughs> I can't walk out the door correctly.
Okay, this smile burger's all done. I'm just trying to wrap up the food locations, just checking everything off the list. I just realized, have I never gone in here? Um, oh no. Wait, how come I can't eat in here? Do I have to talk to friend? I can't eat at beef zone? Come on, I want to eat at beef zone. I don't want to talk. Or wait a minute. Hold on, what's up here? No, hold on. Oh, this, okay, beef zone is not a place you eat at. You eat here. Oh, but it's another, ugh, I'm trying, uh, I know it sounds petty. I don't want to do friend events anymore. I'm good. They probably take a minute at most, but I don't want to do. <laughs> Guess at this point, I'll just go to the sushi place at the south part of the city. Oh, but then that would be another friend event. That was the guy with the uh, towel thing, right? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, how about this? I'll do one more fight and then we'll, we'll take the taxi. I need a compromise somewhere. That was completely unnecessary talk. Come on. You asked for it. That was rude, dude. Come on. Uh, did not mean to waste the EX action. Let's hit it. God damn it. I need to get my meter. Uh, no, it's fine. I promise one more fight. We're out of here. We're good. Did I get rid of the Kahin gang last time? I thought they showed up right as I said. I don't remember. Okay, whatever. All right, let's go. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Long time no see. It's truly horrible what happened to Matsugani-san. Yes. To his memory. Chairman Kajihira. I assume you've already heard about 89? Yes. Hattori-san told me everything. The incident three years ago was a human experiment gone awry, huh? I'm impressed you figured that out. <laughs> Quite impressed. I heard about Shinpei Okubo, too. The murder you let loose upon the world didn't actually kill anyone. Yeah. Emmy died at the hands of Shono, the 89 researcher. I'm not so sure about that. Do you have any proof? No? If I did, I'd be making you eat those words. Come now. No fighting. My old heart can't handle the stress. Hold on a sec. If you already know what's going on, why'd you go and call us out here? What do you really want? Huh. <laughs> You're sharper than you look. To be honest, I have a bit of a problem on my hands. Oh, yeah? The curé, Chairman Koba, has been getting on my case. He wants me to put a button on all this murder business. Not that I can blame him. His successor just had his eyes gouged out after all. What's your point? I want you to bring an end to these killings. 
That Detective Karoiwa is behind it all, right? What do you take us for, assassins? I have confidence that the two of you can do what I ask. What do you say? I'll give you a handsome reward. <laughs> He's as much a Yakuza as any of them. Yeah, I think we'll be going now. All right, all right. It was a joke. Though the Kure clan has been getting on my case. So you were half joking. <sighs> the real reason I called the two of you here was to say thanks in Hashki's place. Hmm? It must be frustrating for him to look down on this world just to see people say he died in a drunken brawl. But you saw through that false narrative. Once we have proof and crush AD9 for good, he'll finally be avenged. And you'll finally make good on your 100 billion yen investment. Not that I care either way. <laughs> so, Yagami-san, what comes next? Well, Ayabe's trial is coming up, right? We'll use that stage to bring the real crimes into the spotlight. That'll also mean lifting the veil on 89. Hmm. Okubo will be in the clear, too. Interesting. I think you're still missing some evidence, though. You're not wrong. We don't know where Hamura is, either. Well then, what now? If we want to expose the secrets of 89, there's one man we have to chase down. I'm gonna keep going after Kuroiwa. Stay on his tail till I get a solid lead. You may be waiting a long time, then. He's not the type of man to slip up. I know. It'll take some time for sure. But there's no other way. I'm not sure you have the time you think you do. What do you mean? It won't be long until Shinpei Okubo is executed. What? So say my connections, at least. There's a top secret list stating which death row inmates are potential execution candidates for the near future. Apparently, Okubo is on that list. Once the Minister of Justice rubber stamps the execution, it's over. What? But why? Someone must have pressured the Ministry to put Okubo on the list. Damn it. If I don't do something soon, I'm gonna lose my chance forever. If it were me, I'd try going after an easier target than Kuroiwa. And who would that be? Look. This is an article of mine that got scrapped. Researcher mired in scandal? Millions of yen paid in hush money? Kido-san, really? His womanizing ways are actually pretty well known. Guess he's really cut loose since they announced 89. Underneath the lab coat, he's nothing but a shameless pervert. If anything, he's the one you should be going after. No way am I getting into the ADDC, though. Not now. Well, then you'll just have to lure him out. That's the only way to get a cautious quarry to leave its nest. And how are we gonna do that? Offer him a delicious meal. For Keto, that would be... a woman. A beautiful one, ideally. A woman? A woman? Well, that was the last place I expected to get any good advice. Yeah, he had a point though. Keto might be our best bet for evidence. Evidence that could reveal the truth about 89. We're gonna have to drag him out of the ADDC first. Hattori suggested seducing him to Kamrocho. A honey trap, huh? I guess it's time for Saori-san to do her thing again. Hope Kamarocho's number one hostess has a few more tricks up her sleeve. <sighs> yeah, I'll ask her tomorrow. Well, I'm all out of gas for tonight. See you tomorrow, man. I thought you were out of gas, Kaito-san. What the fuck, dude? Leaving me like that. 
Man, I am mature, I promise. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, they're back. Uh, okay, we are avoiding Koga like the plague. I ain't dealing with that shit. We're just gonna fight everyone else. You know what? I will do that one last side case up there. I'll do it. I'm okay with it. But Muscle Man okay. first. Food. He's fat! Good first hit. Don't go down easy. I can't tell. Did he get more health? Either way, tiger dropping feels good. Yeah, I think his health increased a little bit. Pull. Good job. Yeah, no, you don't. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was really bad. Completely misaligned that block. Okay, he should be done for. And stay down. Cool. All right. We're gonna get our. We're gonna go get that other guy too. Yeah, Yagami. This again? Gun, really? In public? Fuck off, dude. They're they're just bringing out guns now officially for mooks. This sucks, dude. Why do you have to ruin the game like that? Now I'm gonna have to go to the goddamn, like... I'm gonna have to go to the stupid super hospital. So how do we make the last part of the game challenging? Mortal wound from every enemy now? Sure. Sure, put it in. This is all Koga's fault. Stop telling me about mortal wounds! Stop! Come on, I know! I don't need a reminder. Oh my god, I hope the sequel has an option to turn those things off. I That's swear, I was looking. Looking every time. Ooh, that looks good. Um. Yeah. Oh, I sh probably should have bought the beer. To it. That would have been nice to buy the beer. Like, 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 hey, hey, look, help. Do I have to? Here, how about this? We're going to take the time to check mark every single thing off. Will this fix it? I don't know. Because I checked off mortal wounds, but it's going to keep telling me about every th single fucking thing. This is why games start inputting read all buttons. Isn't it fun just doing this? Oh, like, it'll just dump you into open world after the game and it'll just still say mortal wounds. I agree. That's going to absolutely happen.
poor drone league. We've barely touched it. Hey, you can save. And also, DLC. Nah. There's paid DLC. I don't need it. Oh, uh, these take a bit to back out of because there's actually videos playing for them. You know what? It's cool that there's videos for these. Okay, square triangle triangle combo while holding R1. That's the bounce. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. Drunken, yeah. Playground, we know that one. Finishing blow. And that is, um, yeah, that's for each style. Look how, look how much there is. Oh, co-op, hold on. Where was the one that happened last stream? That may have been unique, I don't know. Wait, what, what, wait, what? Why is, why is he teaming up with me? This doesn't happen. Where did they get this from? We took his disguise, what? <laughs> did they just say screw it? That did not happen. Yeah, wh why are they using this dude? Is this spoilers? Oh, here it is. This is amazing. This was one of the best ones I've seen. Yeah. That's such a good one. Oh, and of course, uh, you bond with someone, you get items. Just like Kiwami too. And... By extension, Yakuza, too. But we gotta be, like, near these people. Oh, I'm gonna be here forever checking that shit out. Forget it. But, like, here. Let me look at the options one last time. No. There is zero option. Getting rid of those pop-ups. None. I fucking wish there was. Shit, I'm so up, dude. Yeah, I see bikes, but eh. We need to savor the bike a little bit. What a waste. Stop telling me I'm gonna scream. I am so sick of that pop-up. It's like the game thinks you're fucking stupid. Yeah. Why am I so mad at this game? I love this game, but I'm getting mad at it. There, now we're savoring the bike. No Can we get a tiger drop in? Probably not. Kasai is always really fast for me to react in time. Still trying to practice. There we go. That's fine. And stay down. 
stop telling me about mortal wounds. I'm going to be a little bit more kind now until we get rid of it, but... You know, stop. Wait, why did that... What? Why did the throw not work? It's time. We're doing the thing. Very good, Yagami. Stumble around. I love the dragon engine. Bike? No? This'll work. Oh, I just saw the bike there. It's gone now. This is Blender. Oh, come on, dude. There, no cops here. Get out of here. What a waste. Oh, it's fine, don't worry. Stop telling me about mortal wounds. No, I'm gonna become friends with him. I don't wanna be friends. Fat guys are still bad. In this game. Yeah, guns are worse. Like, fat guys don't, like, inflict mortal wounds unless they Active. actually have the boss ability like Muscle Man does, but... Yeah. Okay, Honda is north. Yeah, we can... We can wrap up with him. I'll be okay with fighting him. Guess we're doing this. Why?! Why do you stumble, you clumsy detective? You dirty goddamn detective hero. I'm sounding like a salty ass gamer now, great. Mmm. Too much salt in my goddamn food. Attacking enemies. In case you don't know how to play the game you've played for 30 hours, stop telling me about mortal wounds. I, there, there has to be a way to turn that off and they're not being clear about it. There has to be. Yeah, could be sad. I was not expecting that to land, so I let go early. Oh, yeah! Here. You hungry, dude? Here you go. Eat. Right now. God, come on. Why did that do? Why is that doing so much damage? He is taking half my fucking health bar now. Then I'll take all your health bar then. No more playing around. Uh, 
All right. I, th I think it's official. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to fight him either. This stuff isn't fun anymore. <laughs> it has officially stopped being fun. 9,000 yen. Here we go. Okay. All right. I'm going to heal that mortal wound, then we're going to go straight to this side case. I think that is actually going to be our last one. I don't see myself legitimately going for side cases once we're in the finale. I think we're just going to straight shot it. We're still a ways off from 9,000. It really sucks that the price of treatment isn't scaled with how bad your mortal wounds are. They, I think they expect you to, like, have those like, have a giant-ass mortal wound, like, say, half your HP. In order to do it, instead of, like, getting, like, a tiny pip and then healing for 20k, but I don't know. It, it's a mechanic I'm just not a fan of. I don't care if that sounds like scrub quotes, but, like, come on. Out of the way. I am not dealing with these guys. I I no longer feel inclined to fight these guys. Oh no, all the citizens are running away. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny that they also just bail. It's great. A lot of people are mad. Is there anyone defending mortal wounds? Oh, it is Onomichi! Oh, fuck! We got a murderer? Oh, man. Hey, isn't that the weird mascot I saw earlier? Oh, hell yeah. You know what? I'm glad I went for this now. Wait! Thief! Someone stop him! Huh? Thief? Oh, I'm so ready for this. Nobody's defending mortal wounds? Oh my god. Where are you looking? Because I can't wait to go on GameFAQs and find one guy that's like, you know, actually, I'll tell you right now, it's so you're not reckless, despite the fact that there's moves where it's really hard to dodge bullets, and enemies have moves that, like, you know, um, instantly retaliate with a gunshot to the dick. Oh, it is on GameFAQs? Oh, man. We gotta go deeper. Actually, no. Don't go deeper. Not not at GameFAQs. No way. How could you let this happen? Are you in charge of that costume maniac? Well, yes, I am for all the good it's doing. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where I can find sailors around here? What's going on? Hey, haven't we met before? Well, I thought you said something about a thief. I did! That Onomichio thug just robbed my convenience store! That mascot is on some kind of crime spree? No, no, this is all a huge misunderstanding. I know what I saw. 
Well, yes, but what I'm trying to say is, the guy inside the costume isn't the true Ono Michio. Makes combat more difficult by having you actually manage EX properly than learn how to prioritize targets. I mean, yeah, I've been trying to manage it properly. But let me tell you right now, the game just kind of threw a gun dude in, like, public. That hasn't happened for, like, random mooks in random battles yet. We've had mooks with guns during story beats and everything, but just random dude. Nah, they're packing heat now in broad daylight where there are cops still around. Don't think it's an exception, though. Hmm. What do you mean? The kid I hired to play Ono Michio was a boy named Nishimura-kun, but he was unhappy with the part, so he texted me that he would be quitting. And rather rudely, might I add, he said, I quit. I left your dumb costume on the side of the street. He dumped your mascot outfit on the sidewalk and left? Yes, and he didn't even write where, so I've been searching all over for it. But that's when I caught wind of Ono Michio committing a robbery, and now we're all caught up. So some opportunistic bastard saw a mascot costume on the street and decided to rob a store? Hi. That seems to be the way of it. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but why did your worker quit like that? What would cause him to be so careless? It's probably because he couldn't handle the pressure that comes with being Ono Michio. How much pressure could it be? Well, the guy we had doing Ono Michio before was incredible at it, and I guess Nishimura-kun felt inferior. He just couldn't express the refinement, the maturity, all the things his predecessor had and more. So it probably got to his head, and rather than, tr than try harder, he just up and quit. I see. So you have no idea who could be in that costume right now? Oh. Right. Now keep in mind, the, um, the mortal wound stuff, the more I think about it, I'm more okay with it with the bosses. Like... They have tells for it, so if you get hit by those tells, you, you get punished. And that's fine. But it being implemented to guns is fucking bad. <laughs> like, it could just happen at any time. And considering that this game has no methods of, like, increasing your defense. So, like, you could have a large HP bar, then you just magically lose half your health in one hit. Like, you saw what those guys were doing to me now. Like, they're, they're hitting for big damage, and this is on normal difficulty. I'm not on hard. I'm not on legend. This is normal, and they're, they're dealing, like, half HP. Like, it's a fucking touch of death fighting game. Right. Well, we have to consider that Nishimura could have lied about throwing the costume away. It would be a perfect alibi to say he threw it away and then go rob a store with it. The rascal caught me completely off guard, I'll have you know. And this is all your fault. I lost 500,000 yen in cold hard cash. Don't you think we should prioritize finding Ono Michio before anything worse happens? Hey, guys, about Ono Michio. I saw him go inside that arcade, Charles. Eh? What? Then there's no time for talk. Let's go catch him. <laughs> yeah, I'm going too. He's robbing... He's robbing the friggin' capsule games that I paid my cold hard yen on. <sighs> this won't end well. I should probably go see what's going on. Oh yeah, Running Man! Yeah! <laughs> he loves it. Oh no, the costume has been abandoned. So the suspect came through here. Huh. I mean, look at it this way, Mozzie. I understand getting shot from a gun. <laughs> it's painful as fuck. But notice how like I'm being stabbed and sliced by katanas normally, and it's not causing mortal wounds. You would think 
that, oh no, I lost my hand because of a katana, and somehow that's not a mortal wound compared to gun. I don't know, man. I legit thought katanas were going to be implemented for normal mortal wounds, but that's not the case. It's like they decided to be less of an asshole in this game or something. <sighs> sure seems that way. Let's take a look inside. Now fess up! Who just robbed me? Huh? Nishimura-kun? Hironaka-san? What are you doing here? Why would you quit your job and then go loaf around in an arcade? I'm sorry. His job? Are you saying this is the guy who was in the Ono Michio costume? Hi. Yes. This is him. Then that means he's the thief! Wait, a thief? This has got to be some kind of awful coincidence. Oh, sure, a coincidence. Don't lie to us. It's true, though. I was pretty pissed about the umpteenth lecture, so I came in here to blow off steam. You were pissed at me? I've been in here all day, I swear. Besides, the guys who came in after me were way shadier. Soto. Hey, don't drag us into this mess. Yeah, I just wanted to play some games in peace, man. Are these the only four guys who've entered the arcade? If that's the case, it means one of you is the culprit. Not it? What? I could never even pull off a robbery. You guys all suspect me then? That's not right. Random dude. Did anyone see someone taking off the Ono Michio costume by any chance? I asked that same question before you came in, but no one saw anything. Listen, you bunch. I'm going to call the cops, so everybody stay put, got it? Huh? What was that for? Ah. Calm the fuck down, man. We don't want the cops sniffing around here. Oh, you don't, do you? Well, that sounds pretty suspicious to me. Why is that? And what's in that bag of yours while I'm at it? It's got nothing to do with you, and I don't have to show you shit. Is that because you look guilty if you did? Shut up. I'm leaving. I'm afraid not. Move or I'll make you move. If you want me to move so bad, show me what's in the bag. Hey, why don't we all just calm down? Can't we just talk this out? Yeah, someone's gonna get hurt if we're not careful. If only a great detective would burst onto the scene like in those crime dramas on TV. <laughs> well, I am a detective, but busting onto the scene isn't exactly my style. What should I do? I could just leave. That's so good. Uh, hey, guys. I'm actually a detective. Eh? You are? Yep. Yeah. My name's Yagmi. I run a detective a agency in Kamarocho. How convenient! Then do something about this, would ya? Please, Yagami-san. Oh no, Michio's honor is at stake here. And I honestly don't think Nishimura-kun is capable of robbery. Huh? You believe me? I don't want to believe I could hire a robber. He would bring down the whole city's reputation if I did that. You may not be the hardest working kid, but I don't think you're a robber. I was waiting for the uh, this is Yagami thing. I was waiting for that, but they didn't do it. <laughs> you're Onaka-san. There's a lot at stake, huh? I'll see what I can do. Let's get one thing straight, though. I don't care if you're a detective. You can't see my stuff. That just means I'm gonna have to resort to logical deductions, I guess. Uh-huh. <gasps> Hold up. Fuck the investigations. We got something important. Where are ya? Where are ya? What if the cat's actually in there? Hmm. 
Yes. Oh, look, a cat. Hmm. hmm. The bag is empty, so they've already transferred the money they stole somewhere else. Why would he switch bags, though? Hey. So they threw the costume away here. Nobody here seems to have noticed it happen. What the? This is the knife the robber used. I doubt it's even worth checking for prints. That's right. Onomichio wears gloves after all. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Hey. Would there happen to be any cash in this pouch? <sighs> nope. Well, it probably wouldn't still be there if there was. I think I've got a good inventory of the robber's belongings now. Hmm. But it's odd. Something's missing. What is it? What's missing that a robber dressed as Onomichio would have in his possession? So, the gloves are gone. My guess was the shoes. A sense of refinement? What? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> what is that an option for? I... My first guess was the shoes. Because, you know, like... Once that cutscene started when he was running, it started that the shoes, and I noticed it was bloody. But I'm not sure if that was fish blood or real blood. I don't know. I want to say the shoes. I mean, the gloves are gone. The pants are gone. Hmm. Hmm. I like, I like this. I'm gonna start with the shoes. I don't see his boots. You're right! His cool boots, vital for any fisherman! When a robber gets caught in the act, an employee can throw a paintball at him to stain his shoes. If the clerk did that, we can safely assume the culprit's shoes would be stained. Oh, is that what that red was? Which means we should get a good look at each suspect's shoes. But there's something else missing, too. Oh, multiple choice. Then, yeah, the gloves. Onomichio should have been wearing white gloves. You're right. I don't see them anywhere. I guess they got rid of them out of fear they could trace his fingerprints from them. Any careful thief wouldn't leave such incriminating evidence lying around. I guess you could always burn the gloves pretty easily, too. But there's something else missing, too. A sense of refinement. He had white pants, right? Definitely not jeans. I think he had the white pants. Ono Michio should be wearing wh white pants, but they're not here either. Now that you mention it, you're right. The robber was wearing white pants, too. That would mean the robber committed the deed in his own white pants. Oh, sorry, that's not Yagami speaking. This is Hironaka. What makes you say that? When Nishimura-kun wore the costume, he always brought his own white pants. Well, if he took them off, he'd be basically running around in his underwear, so he wouldn't have stripped. So I think it's safe to assume the robber was wearing his own white pants. Ah, I get it. That means the culprit is most likely still dressed in white pants. Okay, cool. How about we save the other stuff for fun? Onomichio should be wearing a sash, right? Yagami-san, no! Onomichio doesn't wear a sash. It would cover his trendy Ono shirt. Oh, is that right? His outfit is his soul. Please don't get the details wrong. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Onomichio should have been wearing jeans, even though we just talked about white pants. No, no, no! Onomichio doesn't wear jeans! Really? I could have sworn... This Ono Michio doesn't have that refined, mature look. Well, I guess robbing a convenience store is neither refined nor mature. But is that really evidence we can use to find the culprit? Nah, not really. Just thought I'd point that out. Well, please don't say that in front of Nishimura-kun, okay? He's sensitive about it. Even the internet has come down on him for lacking the aggressive charm and mature wisdom his predecessor had. I don't know if I mentioned it last stream, but the predecessor was Kiryu. 
He was the last one to wear the Ono Michio outfit. How can you live up to Kazuma Kiryu? It must be a pretty tough act to follow, huh? Everything that's missing are the white gloves, white pants, and cool boots. There's a chance the gloves were discarded, but the culprit may still be wearing white pants and the boots. I'm not sure. I believe the robber was wearing sneakers, not Ono Michio's cool boots. I guess those boots would be hard to run in, but if the anti-theft paint ball was used, then they may still be wearing sneakers stained with that paint. I guess they would have just discarded the boots, too. So this, I noticed this immediately. Hey. But I don't see paint. And I don't think the shoes were black. This guy has nothing to do with it. That is, um... Oh my god. I know his name. Steve Bloom character. Hey. Higashi. That's Higashi's, Suspicious. like, door guard. So, hey. this guy has nothing to do with it. Hey, did you see anything? Anything that might help? Huh? Nah. I was dozing off in the back. <sighs> Useless. It was him. These aren't boots, and there's not a spot of anti-theft paint on them. Probably not it. Hmm. If he's the culprit, that would mean he changed his shoes. Suspicious. White pants. That's the same color Onomichio wears. Ah! Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. That won't be enough proof. What the? He really didn't want me to see what's in this bag. Ah! Hey, what are you look staring at? I just want to know. Why are you so intent on hiding what's in that bag? <laughs> you really want to see it? Fine. You could pay the viewing fee with your life. It's that important, huh? Just let it go, man. I'm not joking about killing you. Hmm. I've got to say, the lengths he's going to make sure we don't see that bag are pretty suspicious. That's going to be a red herring, though. Okay, so he has white pants too, but sandals. That would be a quick swap. Oh, look, a cat. Hey. You're wearing sandals. Kind of uncommon in the winter, wouldn't you say? Oh, it's winter? Shit. I mean, now I'm expecting Millennium Tower to blow up again. Yeah, but I live pretty close by, and putting on shoes sucks. Yeah, I know that feeling. He's not wearing sneakers, and there's no anti-theft paint on him. Pretty clean so far. What the? Hmm? What the? Suspicious. You don't carry a bag? Yeah, I've got pockets for that. So the bag in the hallway isn't yours? The bag in the hallway? What do you mean? I haven't even looked in the hallway since this whole mess started, man. He really doesn't know about the bag? Or is he playing dumb? Okay, won't comment about the pants. Bag. Hey. A tote bag. I can probably peek inside. Feel free to have a look. I'm not worried. Sure, let's see what we got. A wallet with a few thousand yen and some candy. <laughs> see? Although I guess you could hide the real deal somewhere in the arcade. What the? You're also wearing white pants. <laughs> yeah, do you think I'm trying too hard? I'm going on a group blind date after this, and I wanted to look suave. You know how hard it is to make white pants work? That's why I went with ankle length white pants to give off that really like I care look. Okay, that's one way to go about it. But then I top it all off with this cashmere cardigan that says, Hey ladies, I'm mature. <laughs> so I see. I hope you do well at your date. Unless you're going to the slammer, buddy. 
sandals with an ankle length pants? Wouldn't that be pretty cold? I don't know. What are you looking at? I was just wondering why you'd wear sandals in this weather, especially with pants like that. Eh? Wait, sandals? Oh. oh, crap. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, just thought of something. That's all. It's nothing. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling he didn't even realize he was wearing sandals? Yagami-san. Yagami-san, wasn't that kind of suspicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should probably take a closer look at those sandals. Oh my god. It might actually be him. I was kind of kidding. But hold up. Suspicious. White pants. The same color as the robber. Huh? Well, yeah. I have to wear them to play Ono Michio. So you texted your boss and you quit and then you threw away the costume? Likely story. You probably kept the costume so you could rob me. I, s I swear I changed the convenience store guy's voice like 20 times already. That's not true. I can't rule out the possibility, despite whatever faith Hironaka-san seems to have in him. Hey. Wait, are those boots? Yeah, but Ono Michio wears cool boots that are vital for any fisherman. Oh, so your boots aren't cool, I guess. He's not wearing sneakers, and I don't see any paint. Hmm. Yeah, that was, that was 100%. Um, hmm. oh, what's back here? A one-stop bathroom. I looked, but everything th seemed fine. I see. Super Gunman Part 2. Wait, didn't I already check the suspect's bag? Am I missing something? I thought that would have been checked off. Hmm. What the? A trash can for recycling. And inside we have... Empty cans. Yep. Suspicious. Oh, here we go. Mind if I take a quick look in your bag? Uh, sure. But there's no money in there. Just a wallet and some plushie probably won in a claw machine. Where'd you hide my money, punk? Soto. I told you I didn't do it! Hmm. It has to be somewhere in this arcade, but where? Alright, we gotta check the sandals. Suspicious sandals, hmm. Wait, it. what are you vibrating at now? Hold on. It's vibrating here again, but like, it's not. What the? Hold on. A trash can for recycling. And inside we have empty cans. Yep. All right. Oh, look, a cat. Oh, I'm surprised we're not getting prompts for these ones. You would think that would also be a place to check, right? Why? Hold on. Do they want me to go from behind? Hmm. What are you vibrating at, game? What are we looking at? Hey. Here we go. Wait. There's something written on the heel. Hmm? Oh, did I skip something by accident? Shit. Oh. Uh, hey, those sandals you're wearing. Eh? Hmm? They say Charles on the heel. That's the arcade we're in. Did you win those here or something? Yeah, you figured it out. What do you mean? Well, I changed into these when I went to the bathroom, but I forgot to switch back. Um, does that mean I'm a suspect? We don't know anything for sure yet, but... Oh, that trash can, okay. Hey, that's... They're stained by the anti-theft paintball. These must be the sneakers the robber was wearing. He knew he'd need to dis—he knew he'd need to discard the shoes, so he ditched them. Damn. Huh? 
Yagami-san, don't forget. Onomichi was supposed to wear cool boots. Vital for any fisherman. I can't believe the thief went and committed a crime wearing sneakers instead. Yeah, I guess he was thinking more about how to get away than how to catch a fish. But the bad news is that the shoes might be a dead end. Our culprit isn't wearing them still. Alright. So... This guy's actual prime suspect. This guy's just a shit Yakuza. It, I, I'm leaning towards him, but I really don't know. What do we got? Are you done investigating Yagami-san? Yep. Yes, I got what I needed. And I have a pretty good idea who the culprit is. You do? Who is it? Ah. What? Yagami-san! Yagami-san! Don't keep us waiting! There's enough evidence and deductions that can make a pretty compelling case here. The body tells us more about a person than they might think. Oh, great. I'm starting to sound like a TV detective. Wow! I feel like I heard a detective on TV say that! So are you gonna tell us? Who's the robber? And where's my money? Okay. I'll accuse the person by talking to them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I know how you can solve this. That way we can make as many mistakes as we want. Chat, who do you think it is? Yellow sandals, that, that is my guess. That is my number one guess. Also, this dude, hold on. Sorry, I needed to get a twig, okay. I'm gonna go for him. He's my number one guess. Huh? You're saying you suspect me? Is this the guy who did it? Yep. <laughs> yes, you're the Onomichio bandit. Me? Where's your proof? Yep. You left some evidence at the scene that clearly points to your efforts to cover it up. The shoes. These sneakers were thrown away in the trash can. They're stained with the anti-theft paintball, too. Yeah, I'm glad I thought to throw it at the thief. Anyone would know you'd committed a crime with that- with this amount of paint on your shoes. So of course you had to ditch them. Oh, hold on a second! What proof do you have that I'm the one who threw them away? Stop playing dumb. There's proof on you right now. There is? Check this out. This is all the proof I need! Well... That's right. You're wearing undeniable evidence. I told you, I went to the bathroom and... That excuse isn't going to fly. You borrowed the Charles sandals because you threw away your stained sneakers, right? After all, the stain proves who the robber is. <laughs> Admit it already. You're the robber. I don't know what you're talking about! Well, if you want to prove you're innocent... Why don't you lower the pant leg you rolled up? Uh, uh, but that's... I'm going to assume the hem of your pants has paint on it. If they don't, you can prove it right now. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Sorry, Barrett came out. Yeah. It wouldn't have just been the shoes. That shit's messy. Whoa, then that's really him. You're the thief. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm sorry. Why would you do something like that? 
I saw the costume lying there and I just couldn't help myself. My debts are due today and if I didn't have the money... Oh. 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 <laughs> you know what that means, right? Doesn't mean cracking a cold open. Um, that means backdoor shady Yakuza man is super guilty because he legit has the money on him right now, right? He had debts with that dude. So you thought you'd steal to pay them back? And you used some poor mascot to do it? I knew the costume would hide my face, and if I was lucky, the mascot would take the fall for it. Soto. You've got to be kidding me! You almost got me arrested! <laughs> I love that the worker's just chilling, not giving a shit. He's like, uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't even consider that they'd accuse a real person in the costume. Well, this was one, this was no, this one was no easy case to crack, but I think we're done here. Ugh, I didn't want it to end like this. Just when my debts were paid and my life was finally looking up. Hmm? Wait, so you paid your debts back already? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you just sneak it out. Hey. Hey. Where are you going? How did Yagami instant teleport over there? How the fuck did he do that? <laughs> Actual superhuman lawyer. Well, you know, look at me. Figured I'd get out of here before the cops came. Besides, the case is solved. No need for me to stick around. The case may be over, but is it really? No, the case isn't finished yet. Yeah. What did you just say? Boy. What do you mean by that, detective? Inamine-san, you've forgotten one very important point. I have? The whereabouts of the stolen money. Oh yeah, duh. When I searched Kaneda-san's bag, it wasn't in there. Which begs the question, where did the money go? Th that's... Four. Hey, start talking! Where's my money? Which brings us to Ku Kumakuro-san and the bag he refused to let us see. I wonder what's in it. No way! I told you guys, this has nothing to do with the stupid little investigation! Oh, but I'd say it does, because I think I know who what you really are. The true culprit. No, he's... He's the fucking debt collector. I already figured that out. Kaneda-san mentioned that he'd finally paid back his debts. Uh, uh, Yagami-san, that's weird, isn't it? He came here right after robbing the store, so how could he have done that? When and how did he pay back his debts? It's simple, really. The debt collector is right here. That explains everything. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that explains your role in this little tragedy, right, Kurmakuro-san? You're the debt collector, are you not? Wait, then that means... That's right. The contents of that, excuse me, the contents of that bag is all the money you were paid back. Mm. If I'm wrong, you'll have to show us what's in your bag. You piece of shit, detective. I'm going to end you. Mozzie, you were joking? It's too bad you're 100% right. This is exactly how this is turning out. You think so? Come on, then. From here on, I'll start proving things with my fists. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna get found guilty. You asked for it. Ha!
All right, bye, dude. Oh, right in the trash, right where you belong. He's so dead. Damn, how is some scrawny detective so strong? I get lots of practice on cheap thugs like you. Now, let's see what's inside your bag. Quite a large wad of bills. So you're the one he owed, right? Right. Today was collection day, so I told Kaneda to meet me here. He brought the 500000 as promised, but I had no idea the dumbass knocked off a store to get it. Uh, my bad. But you must have realized it was stolen when this whole fiasco started, didn't you? Yet you still tried to hide it and run. Well, yeah, who wouldn't? But I get it. I lose. I'll return the money. What's your call, Inamine-san? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is call the cops. That prompt better not have said mortal wounds or I was gonna fucking scream. Wow, Yagami-san, you were really on a roll for a while there. Yeah, thanks for all your help, great detective Yagami. Don't call me that, please. It gets to my head and I start acting like one. I just hope the whole thing wasn't too damaging for Onomichio's reputation. No way! We'll keep promoting him to make sure he stays refined and mature. Right, Nishimura-kun? Hironaka-san, thank you. What are you thanking me for all of a sudden? I threw away that costume and ran from the job, but you still believed in me the whole time. Of course I would, Nishimura-kun. Huh? I hired you to be Onomichio because I could tell you were a sincere, honest kid. And I believe that one day you'd surpass even your predecessor and develop your own Onomichio soul. Hironaka-san. But nobody can put the suit on and just wing it. It takes hard work to become a city's mascot, so don't let me down. Okay, I can at least meet you halfway. Now you're getting it. Oh no, Michio, huh? I hope he makes everybody proud. Yo, that's that's a hefty bill. Nice. Okay, what were we doing? Well, we got we got it right first try. That felt good. All oh, right, we're going back home. Okay. I think it's fair enough to avoid side missions for the rest of the game. I think that's a nice one to end on. And stay down. Still messing around with my move list, like. Because I always have trouble, like, getting the, uh, the quick step attack in, where you quick step and then follow up. It just, like, compared to Yakuza, it feels clunky and almost unresponsive, which is very shocking. No! No! Pardon me, sir, but you look awful tired. I recommend a full-body de-stress package, Prano. Hmm? Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. I was thinking I could come over to your place sometime and ease those throbbing muscles. Oh, jeez. Boil up and hit the gym with me. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not really interested in that kind of massage. I'll pass. Shotto. What the heck? I never said I was going to do anything weird. I'm a mobile massage therapist for crying out loud. Oh, whoops. You're darn right, whoops. Are there no actual health professionals here in Kamarocho? <laughs> anyway, the name's Sakura, Sakura Amimiya. Amamiya, excuse me. God damn. I can, this is why I don't like reading out loud. I am bad at it. 
and I fist busted backs and broken hearts from Sotenbori all the way to Tokyo. Hmm, broken hearts, huh? You're sounding awfully scammy right now, lady. Come on, that's just part of my bit. You'll understand once you have your first session. Right now, I'm offering my service for the very low price of 3,000 yen an hour. My hands are pure magic, or so I'm told. Ah. Yeah, now I'm even more skeptical. Stop being a weirdo and just try it out. Or at least take my contact info. Yo, what? Oh, is this another girlfriend opportunity? We're gonna oil up and massage a girl. Oh, God. We're gonna get some, like, Final Fantasy VII remake massages. All right, welcome back. We're gonna rest. All right. Off to the Genda Law Office. Fight? Sure. Oh, fuck you, dude. Come on. Getting me out of that. Um. Yes. Yes, I love seeing shit like that. That, that fixed. <laughs> How unfortunate for that, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can't help but feel bad. That is peak brain rot for that poor thug. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's why! That's why they were showing me that. We can actually recruit him. So, yeah, that is technically spoilers. Fuck it. Hmm? Hmm? Isn't that... This isn't over! Who the fuck you think you are asking for protection money here? You asshats forget this is Matsugane turf? <laughs> I think you meant it was Matsugane turf. Where on the street is, your patriarch's dead. For the longest time, Captain Hamura was the man in charge around here, but that's in the past now. We'll be handling this store from here on out, so why don't you go run along now? Huh? <laughs> Fucking pricks. to Shiro-kun. Who's that he's arguing with? Think about it. You're about to get beat to death. Maybe halfway if I'm feeling generous. And for what? Loyalty? To a piece of shit like Matsugane? You've got some daddy issues, kid. Now beat it before I really get pissed. You kidding me? Shut the fuck up. Uh? What? I said shut the fuck up. I swore an oath to the Matsugane family, and I'm always ready to back it up, even with my life. I'm not the kind of bastard who'd abandon his patriarch just because he died. Can you say the same for yourself? Wow. Toshiro-kun, you're more of a man than I thought. <laughs> you're pathetic, just like that patriarch of yours. You really want to follow in his footsteps? Then I'll send you to meet him in hell. Hmm. Looks like Toshiro-kun's in trouble. Should I help him out? Hey. Hold up. Yagami! Yeah! Yagami! Huh? Yagami? Huh? Can't you see you're interrupting family business? Besides, it has nothing to do with you. Nope. Actually, it has everything to do with me. Huh? What? I never swore an oath, but I've always respected Matsugane-san. 
He was like a father to me. I still owe him a lot, so I can't just let these people insult him like that. What the hell, Yagami? Hey. Sorry to butt in, Toshiro-kun, but this is my fight, too. Uh? You done spouting off that bullshit? Because these are going to be your last words. Out of the way. Is that a- Where'd the bike go? No, you do not show me a bike and instant transmission it out of here. No. Highway robbery, dude. This is my bike. Oh, bitch. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. I need a bike right now. <laughs> the physics. What is happening right now? There you go. <laughs> you like that, huh? That'll teach you not to fuck with the Matsugane family. Damn you. Hey, you all right, Tashiro-kun? This isn't over. Don't ask me that shit. I could have handled those guys on my own. Come on, man. I was just trying to set things straight. Huh? <laughs> Whatever, dude. Don't expect a thank you. Man, Tashiro-kun's really got a stick up his ass. Wonder what happened. I wonder if we can find him again. If we see him again, we'll we'll recruit him. Oh. Oh, hi guys. You ready? You Did I just destroy the bike? I fucking did, but there's more. Let's go. There. Really, guys? <laughs> there. Yeah, sorry, I know they're bugging traffic. I'm sorry. Not my problem. I gotta go to work. Oh, Yagami-san. I'm not here for either of you guys. I'm here for her. Sorry, son. Yes? I have another favor I want to ask you. Oh? Think you can handle it? Oh, I'm her now. Tell me what it is. You sure? Yes. All right, then. We need you to set a honey trap for Keto. A what? It's when you seduce a man to get information. And you're sure you want me? Oh my god, dude. She just immediately How perks could you up. you ask her to do that? You can't be serious. Look, we need to get to Kido somehow. This is the best shot we have of luring him into Kamurocho. Don't be ridiculous. Asking her to be a hostess is one thing, but you can't make her sleep with that creep. Hold on there, Hoshino-kun. Isn't that what a honey trap is? I never said that. You don't have to listen to them, sorry, son. I mean, just talking about this is practically entrapment. Not to be rude, but I asked sorry, son, not you. Why do you care so much anyway? Because I care about her. Oh. You what? Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for her as a co-worker. Well, that's enough of that. Yagami, you're sure there'll be no risk to Saurikun? Absolutely. I have a plan. 
Which is what, exactly? I'll tell you once we get there. First, I need to know if you're in. If I can help him expose the truth, then... It's what the investigation calls for. Sorry, son. I want to avenge Shitani Sensei's death, too. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Then we don't have time to lose. We? Since when was it we? If this is really what Saori-san wants, I'll do everything in my power to help her. Uh-huh. Oh, we'll need another makeover, right? I'll go this time. Mind if we use the same salon? Sure, but I was thinking she'd be a journalist this time, not a hostess. A journalist? Really? Think about it. Your mark is inside the ADDC, right? You'll be able to get him alone much more naturally if you go in asking for an interview. Uh huh. And you'll need to dress the part. I'm talking high skirts and low cuts. That'll bring out the worst in any old lech. Now we're talking. I'll take that over a hostess any day. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I have some things I need to take care of. Can you head to the ADDC once you're done with your makeup, Sarisan? We'll meet there. Okay. See you soon. We should be going too, Sarisan. Let's get you that makeover. Right. This is like the horniest the game has been so far. Oh, jeez. Here we are, Sarisan. Hair Salon Cherry. I'm honestly a little nervous. Why is he nervous? Didn't I already do this when I was a hostess? Sure, but everything's different this time. Sorry, son, the journalist. An intellectual beauty. Classy, worldly. Oh, what guy wouldn't fall for that? Don't give me that look. Boil up. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stare. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be stunning no matter how much makeup you wear. And if I disappoint you? Well, that's just not possible. I hope you're right. Oh, man. Oh, we gotta do this again. What hair do we... Oh. Oh, no. That... No, I don't like that. I like how none of this really matters. It's all personal preference. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, I can't wear accessories. What do Japanese reporters look like? I don't know. Watch the news from Japan or something? I legit don't know. Eyelashes. Yes. Eyeliner. Nah. Eyeshadow. Nah. Eyebrows. Yeah. Cheeks. Nah. Contacts. That's extreme. Yeah, red. Lip. Yeah, sure. I think that's fine. Whatever, we're good. You're a goddess, Salre-san. Just incredible. That off-limits allure, that mature aura. Are you going to stop soon? Sorry. I just... I get a little excited. Well, I'm ready to go. I can take it from here. So independent, too. Oh, sorry. I'll stop now. Well? Salre-san. Um... Don't push yourself, okay? If things get dangerous, just run. 
I'm glad you care, but don't panic. I've got this. Yagami-san said I'll be safe, though. Well, yeah, your life might not be in danger, but what if Kido tries to, you know, top a feel or something? If that's what needs to happen, that's what will happen. What? But... I should be going. Sorry, son. By the way, Hoshino-kun. Yeah? Thank you for complimenting my makeup. It felt... nice. What? Hold on, sorry, son. Take this with you. It's a hidden camera. A what? I suppose for this to work, we'll need physical proof. See, this is the lens. Any footage it takes will get sent to my phone in real time. Here, wear this earpiece, too. I'll give you some conversation pointers while you're in there. Oh? Yeah. This time you'll need to be seductive with the words you say, not just your looks. So... You're going to give me tips, Yagami-san? I'd appreciate that. Wait, really? Of course. Knowing how to woo a man isn't exactly my specialty. Also, what happens after I seduce him? Once Kido starts coming on to you, we'll catch it all on the camera. Meaning there will be evidence of his sexual harassment? Yeah. Your job will be done at that point. All we'll need to do after that is use the footage to lure him to Kamurocho. Blackmailing, hmm? Secretly recording sexual harassment and blackmailing him with it? This is... a rush. Really? Sorry, son! Think you can handle it? Don't worry. The more perverted things Kido does, the more he'll suffer later. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'd rather keep his hands I appreciate her... Possible. Enthusiasm to direction, take down some shit, dude. Right. Anyway, some fucking creeper. Out. Send all the bad guys to horny jail immediately. Can you hear me, sorry, son? First, you're gonna want to go to the reception desk. Ask the lady there if you can interview Kido. Just make something up about wanting more details on 89. Sounds good. Welcome, ma'am. Do you have an appointment? No. I was wondering if Director Kido would be available for an interview. And you are? A freelance journalist by the name of Shirosaki. I wanted to speak with him about 89. I'm terribly sorry, ma'am. I can't let you in without an appointment. Oh, I see. In that case, um... Don't be afraid to press the issue, sorry, son. I, um... Director Kido is a very busy man. I'm sure you understand. It won't take long, I assure you. And I can wait if need be. Even so... Please, can I at least see Kido-san and ask him myself? I'm sorry, ma'am. We decline all requests without a prior appointment. Oh, I think I could make an exception for such a pretty girl. Huh? I'm Kido, the director of this center. I hear you want to interview me. So, this is Kido. Ah, uh, yes. My name is Shirosaki. Shirosaki-san, hmm? Come, I'll show you to my office. A beautiful woman like yourself deserves VIP treatment. Are you sure, sir? Thank you very much. Ugh, Kido-san. No, he's not even trying to hide it. Not that I'm complaining. Please, come in. Wow, this is your office? It's breathtaking. I love how spacious it is. Oh, <laughs> no need to flatter me, though I do get quite a few compliments. Please, take a seat. Sorry, son. Put the camera on the table. You really must excuse me. I should have made an appointment instead of just showing up on your doorstep. Move it a little to the right. About 15 degrees. Perfect. Would you care for a drink, Shirosaki-san? Maybe a glass of brandy? 
There's one I found recently that's truly top shelf. All right. <laughs> what are you trying to do by getting me drunk? No, we got to play along. Hell yeah. Well, sure. I'll have some. It's a special occasion after all. Here you are. I think I'm going to enjoy this interview. Good job, sorry son. Keep it up. To a wonderful interview. Yes, to the interview. Mmm. It's incredible. Really warms you up deep in your core, right? Yes. Undo another button, sorry son. Huh? <laughs> Is something the matter? Oh, um, no, it's just getting a little toasty in here. Oh, come on. Well, all right, we gotta we gotta age restrict immediately. Good going. He's taking the bait. Now then, <clears throat> what is this interview about? Oh, <laughs> we're going full horny. I want to know every little detail about you. Send the kids to bed. to discuss 89. You're more interesting than some stuffy old drug. I see. This is better than I was expecting. So, will you tell me, big boy? Well, there's a lot I could say. I, <laughs> I'm just not sure I should say it here. Huh? But it's just the two of us. You can do whatever you want. Oh, you're even more aggressive than I expected. <laughs> not yet. Work comes first. <laughs> yes, I uh, suppose the real fun can wait until later. Well played, sorry, son. Now then, uh, where were we? You should get this over with as quick as possible. Make your move, sorry, son. Hmm. In that case. Oh, man. Oh man, uh, we've got cross your legs, stroke the chin. <laughs> I mean, oh man, I'm going to say undo the button. Oh, it's getting so steamy in here. Don't you think? Yes, yes, I'm burning up. I totally agree with you. Wait, sorry, son. Are you really going to keep going? Ah, <sighs> that's better. Oh. Sorry, son. It uh, kind of seems like you're enjoying this. Japan. Ugh, he's the worst. How's this? Just wonderful. I think that's enough photos for now. All right, sorry, son. You're good. Wrap it up. If Zero ever played Judgment... How did they turn out? Instant horny jail. Oh, do you want to... Ah! You're right in the frame. This is a perfect backup. Stay strong, sorry, son. Easy for him to say. This is so gross. Ugh. You've made me a very happy man today. But we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. Well, um... How about dinner tonight? That's oh my Draw god, on. come on! Okay, <laughs> oh, let's do it in No, hold up. Hold up. I need a moment. Why? Oh, top 10 sleaze bags. Oh, I can't wait to have this guy killed. Oh my God. Wow. You, you go for the, he smelled it. 
I joked about this, but this is like legit. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing this game's almost over. <laughs> Kamarocho? Um, how about somewhere else? I, I'd rather stay close by. Oh, I think I can convince you. Hmm. How so? You'll see. I'm trying to think what he did was as bad as that um as that one dude at GDQ like sniffing a chair that's like some girl sat at which was caught on camera at GDQ by the way God actual garbage I still can't believe that happened Oh what the fuck man Happy man today. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way, hmm? My little minx. <laughs> Is it just me? Or did Sari-san start getting weirdly into that whole thing at some point? Yeah, she was, uh, it's kind of scaring me towards the end. Anyway, you think Kido's actually gonna show? He'd be a fool not to. I just sent him the footage under Sari-san's name. Said we'd put it online if he didn't show. <laughs> Guess he doesn't have a choice then. Where'd you tell him to go? The batting center. Sugira and Higashi went ahead to keep an eye on the place. What's gotten into you, man? I don't know if I've ever seen you this organized. I can't afford to take my time with this. Okubo-kun's execution date is coming up fast. Yeah, good point. Come on, we should go. Sorry, Kaito-san. Oh. Hold on, I didn't heal. Let me have my- let me have my food. Meat and potato stew. Chow time, baby! Chat, I don't think I mentioned this, but, um, I'm gonna confirm it. Um, I know we're going back and forth between this and Terranigma. Well, at this point now, we're just playing this game until we finish it. But, like... Oh, dude, here we go. This one. Thank you for syncing with the music, too. Where's the last guy? Oh, fucking great. Bammo! Yeah! There we go. What a waste. Let's roll the top. No, you gotta catch up, Kaito-san. Anyways, as I was saying, um... Once Judgment's over, we're putting Metroid Fusion into the, uh, docket, officially. I'm in the mood to play it, for real. We're just a month away from Metroid Dread coming out. And the good thing is, I don't- I don't expect, um... Like, Fusion to take that long. Come on. 
fight, fight, fight. And stay down. Okay, batting center. Let's go. Definitely going to be saving quite a bit more now, I think. All right, we're getting close to max combo speed. Less than 3k to go. I think by the time we hit the finale, we'll have it. It's Sugira. Hey, what's up? I'm bringing the van around. You see me? Hmm? Yeah, you just ran over all those there innocent people. They're dead now because they vanished. Welcome aboard. Where's Higashi? Already inside. I haven't noticed anything weird out here. Kido should be showing up any minute. And what happens when he does? We'll shove him in the van and drag him over to Charles. What? Higashi's arcade? It's not like we had a lot of time to think about it. We'll interrogate him once we get there. Right, Yagami-san? Yep. And speak of the devil. Huh. Surprised he actually showed. All right, let's move out. What are you doing here? Not sure what you mean. My agency is just a couple blocks away. It's strange to see you here, though. What brings you out to Kamrocho? <laughs> well, I... Maybe meeting a seductive journalist? I understand now. You're the ones behind all this. What will you do with that video? Nothing. If you give us what we want. What is it, money? No, we're after something else entirely. What are you going to do to me? We're just taking you for a little trip. No. No, I'm afraid you're not. Hmm? You forget I'm a powerful man. Huh. Who are these assholes? Health Ministry thugs, if I had to guess. Oh. Do they have them all over the city or something? Delete that video, Yagami! Oh, so we're just gonna brawl. Let's go. Yo, the k Whoa, what the fuck? It broke! The cutscene broke! No! <laughs> Behind the scenes of game development. I swear the more I play, the more the game falls apart. Keto's fucking dead. Get fucked. That's the first time a heat action cutscene broke. I mean, excuse me. Yo. I mean, an EX action. I'm sorry, this is a different game. Higashi, what are you doing up there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Get me back inside. <laughs> what the hell happened? Everything broke. <laughs> Stay back. Don't come any closer. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> Look where all that power got you. Nobody's running to help now. Not the ADDC, not the Ministry of Health. I've been waiting a long time for this moment. If you kill me, think what will happen to AD9. Their research will come to a screeching halt! <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody's killing anybody. But I suggest you learn a little humility. I never said I wouldn't hurt you. Come on. We're out of here. I legit think this copy was personalized for me and my um, jank whisperer skills, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake. Man, it's been a while since I did something like this. Feels good getting back in the group, you know? <laughs> you always did have a habit of stripping them down. Well, yeah. Everyone's the same underneath all this bullshit. Scientist, doctor, whatever. Listen here. It's not too late for you, but if you don't release me... You'll have your assassin hunt us down? I'll take extensive legal action against you. Huh, who knows what'd happen if you did that. I might accidentally let that video loose to the press. <laughs> what? If that doesn't sound good to you, start talking. You're gonna tell us everything you know about 89. Oh, more interrogation dumps. Here we go. Hey, remind me what we're trying to get out of him? Where we can get proof of the 89 experiments. Whether or not we actually get that proof depends on us. This is gonna be a while. Guess we can take turns heading out to grab food. I'm ready when you are, man. Or you wanna rough him up some more first? Okay. No, we're gonna talk right now. Why me? What do you people want? Who are those guys at the batting center? Well, I... <laughs> you mentioned how powerful you are. Did you hire them to protect you? <sighs> Out with it already. Quit acting like you got any goddamn dignity. Force them to play fighting vipers. Oh, you've made me a very happy man today. That'll break him. Why don't we have some real fun now that the interview's out of the way? Hmm? We'll actually have him play pinball instead. Who would have thought the scientist who was going to save the world would turn out to be some pervy asshole? Your name's going to go down in history if this gets out. And not how you're hoping. Stop. I'm begging you, please. Who were those thugs at the batting center? Hitmen. On the Ministry of Health payroll. Ichinose's payroll, in other words. That's right. I think you mean, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ichinose's son knows I've been abducted. More of them could rush in here at any minute if you don't release me. If you haven't noticed, we've got this whole fighting thing pretty down by now. <sighs> Next question. It's about what happened three years ago. Huh? An Alzheimer's patient at the ADDC by the name of Wakusa was murdered. His body found buried far out in the mountains. At the time, Shinpei Okubo was thought to be the killer. But the truth is, it was an unforeseen consequence of 89 which Shono had administered to this Wakusa. You knew, didn't you? What? Cat got your tongue? Guess you're about to become internet famous then. <laughs> Wait! Answer me, Kido! Yes! I knew! Who told you? When? How? I'm sorry. I can't say any more than that. If I did, I... Please, just give me some time to figure things out. Time's one thing I don't have. Shinpei Okubo's about to get executed for a murder he didn't commit. What? 
I need to get every last bit of information out of you right here. I'll even resort to torture if I have to. Torture? You'd break the law over this? What? That doesn't sound fun to you? Of course not! Then start talking! <laughs> Nobody's gonna come help you now. I'll give you a chance to think it over. You better be ready by the time I come back. Kido's already a broken man. My guess? At this point, he's just desperate to save his own skin. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should take a breather. I'm sure giving Kido some time to stool will make him realize talking's the only option. We'll keep an eye on him in the meantime. Thanks, Sugira. I appreciate it. Hey, even a guy like you needs to take breaks. You've been up and out all freaking day. Nah, no breaks. Go back to work. We'll keep tabs on Kido. You go relax a bit. Good to go, Yagami-san? Kido's had enough time to think. Yeah. Nothing I really want to do. I'm good. Ready to talk yet? We're waiting. <laughs> yes. Three years ago, Shono killed a patient by experimenting on him with 89. When did you find out? Right after the press conference. The one where we announced 89 to the world. Shono told me himself. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. Even after all this time. I have some concerns about 89. At the moment, it's only effective on mice. I'm well aware of that, yes. But I'm confident it will work on humans, too. No. I'm afraid you're mistaken. What's this now? We just had a fantastic conference. This is no time for doom and gloom. Just sit back and try to relax. You deserve it. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, Ichinose was thrilled with what he saw. One day, we're almost getting shut down, the next, we have a massive budget. And if you can make consistent progress, AD9 will head to clinical... At this stage, I'm afraid clinical trials would be inadvisable. If we try, all the test subjects will die. Are you sure? How can you say that with such confidence, huh? Shinpei Okubo was actually innocent. What? Innocent? Why are you bringing this up now? The court ruled correctly. Waku-san, his murder didn't play out like you think it did. The real cause of death was none other than 89. What do you mean? That murder was... It was a secret clinical trial for 89. I gave him the injection personally. You did what? Please, I... I had to take this opportunity. The whole world is waiting for this cure. But when I injected him, he let out the most horrible scream. These hands covered his mouth. I tried to make him shut up. Which means you... You're a murderer. <laughs> How could you be such a damn fool? What are we going to do? 
Shono, I just spent the entire afternoon talking up your drug to the press! With my goddamn name on the research! If you hadn't held that press conference, the ADDC would have been done for and you- Why didn't you tell me this before? I needed you, Dr. Kido. I couldn't let the center get shut down. The AD-9 project would have been terminated. But you know, this has been my entire life's work, ensuring that AD-9 would save the world. <sighs> this whole thing is preposterous. I'm going to the press! There's no need for that. Huh? Don't you understand, Director? As long as we finish AD-9's development, there won't be any issues. Your name will go down in history as the man who saved the world. Not to mention the money. But if you really insist on revealing the truth, both of our careers would go down the drain. And you have more to lose, Director. Shono. You're mad. Is that all Shono told you? There's gotta be more. <laughs> Wakusan wasn't the only person Shono killed, was he? No. He needed Shinpei Okubo to take the fall. And murdered Emi Terasawa to accomplish that. So you did know! Hey! <laughs> Fuck that! Save it, Sugira. We're not done yet. We've got him right where we want him. He won't hide anything anymore. What happened next, after Shono killed Emi? <laughs> Don't you already know? You had Hashki murdered. I didn't! It wasn't me! Hashki was digging around, trying to find something wrong with 89. You and Shono didn't like that too much. But you needed some help to take care of him. Someone else who wanted to protect 89. That person was... The man Shono and Kido asked for help in protecting 89 was... Ichinose. Ichinose, from the Ministry of Health. <gasps> the guy who founded the ADDC made it a place all the old guard ministry execs could retire to. Yes. Shono and I went to Ichinose-san and pleaded with him to help us. After all, he's known for being well-versed in political matters both above board and otherwise. So, we told him everything. About Waku-san dying in the experiment, about Emi Terasawa, every last detail. Without hesitation, Ichinose-san agreed to help us with the cover-up. According to him, protecting AD-9 was top priority. Hence why he decided to silence Hashki. Ichinose-san knew he was Kajihira's spy from the start, and acted accordingly. Meaning he's the one who first dragged Hamura and Kuroiwe for this bullshit. Real barrel of fucking monkeys. With Hashki out of the way, all that was left for us to do was complete 89. But we realized something. If we entered clinical trials and another patient died, our dream, too, would be dead. The ADDC would be no more. And all our sacrifices would have been for nothing. Your sacrifices? How can you say that with a straight face? You're not the ones who died for some bullshit drug! <laughs> Go on. Through all my hesitation, Shono kept pushing. 
aggressive to a damn fault. He said we couldn't be afraid of failure if we really wanted to finish 89. That we needed to keep experimenting until we succeeded. He also said the only way to speed up development was to keep conducting clinical trials in secret. Shona was adamant about that. Why? Think about it. If we could hide the fact that our subjects were dying, we could continue experimenting despite the risks. In order to do so, we needed a way to quickly procure and discard test subjects. With that, it would only be a matter of time until AD-9 was complete. And those test subjects were the Curie clan men. Ichinosi-san listened to every single one of Shono's requests. My only role in all of this was obtaining the funds required. And so, money flowed into the ADDC from the Ministry of Health. Money which I gave to Shono, allowing him to build a secret lab in Kamurocho. A... Uh, what? It's where he carries out all of his human experiments. Huh? Hamura mentioned a secret lab for doing the human experiments back in Hanmurin. Where exactly is this lab? I'm not sure of the specific location. I try not to come between Shono and Ichinose-san unless absolutely necessary. So that lab is where all the killings happen, where those Kyori guys were slaughtered. If anywhere's gonna have evidence, it's there. You sure you don't know where it is? Detective Koroyo, I would, of course. He's not as talkative as you, though. In that case... There was another person involved in setting up the lab. Who? A subordinate of Ichinose-san. I believe his name was Ishimatsu. I've heard that name before. He was the middleman between Hamura and Shono. Where's this Ishimatsu guy? In Kamurocho. There's a Ministry of Health office up in the Millennium Tower. Apparently, he'll be in tonight. Wait, the Millennium Tower? That's where they oversee Shono's secret lab. Nobody knows the office is there. The sign out front even has a different name. They really got a place like that? Well, Ishimatsu knows where the lab is, yeah? This'll be easy. <laughs> Just gotta strip him down and force him to talk. Hold up. I've got a better idea. Hmm? First, we give this Ichimatsu guy some kind of reason to go to the lab. Then, we just follow him from the Millennium Tower. Not bad. Ishimatsu himself will lead us straight there. But how are we gonna get him to go? Well, we'll, uh... We'll get our buddy Kido here to give him a call. Huh? Say something about how we're closing in on the lab. Tell him you need him over there to stand guard. You know, that might just work. And what? You think I'll just agree to this? You better. If you don't want to spread in your little video, that is. <sighs> that settles it then. What does Ishimatsu look like? Uh, he's in his 50s. Always wears a gray suit. A sh short man. Not that much over five feet. Uh, ah, and he always wears gloves. That could be any regular-ass old dude in this town. Anything else? There may be photos of him on the internet. You seriously telling us to just search him? Yes. Er, well, not exactly. Try looking up Vice Minister Ichinose. Ishimatsu might have ended up in a photo of his at some point. Hmm, gotcha. Could take a while, but I should be able to find something. Kaito, Higashi. Mind hanging back here with Kido? Sure. What about me, then? You get to tail Ishimatsu with me. You're good at that kind of stuff, right? Guess so, yeah. 
Well, let's head to the Millennium Tower. Be safe, you two. I'll send you a shot of Ishimatsu once I've got one. Great. Let's move out. Let's go, Yagami-san. Yeah, let's go. Plan's good to go. Just gotta nail the execution. Get moving. We'll have Kido make the call when you get to the Millennium Tower. That'll lure Ishimatsu out no problem. Twig? Twig! Good old Millennium Tower. It's always something with Millennium Tower. Not a wise choice. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't run up. Whatever. At this point, I've just kind of given up trying. Yeah, fucks. Yeet. Maybe you can't vault over the big guys. I actually don't know. But I feel like you can, but then it's like, whatever. Really, guys? Yeah, we're going. Well, we're going when drunk. Gotta drink more first. Oh, we're close. We are so close to 9,000. Back to it. Level eight, drunk. Hi, Sugiera. Hi, uh, what's up? We're gonna tail drunk. Oh god. Ah oh, Jesus. Maybe maybe I should save my game. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm on the clock. Hello? Yo, it's Kaito. I just sent you the photo. Later. Oh yeah, this guy! This is Ishimatsu, huh? Gray suit, gloves. We should be able to tell when he's leaving from here. Once he takes us there, we'll be ready to raid the lab. You good to go? Yeah, let's do it. We're in position, Kaito-san. Tell Kido to make the call. Gotcha. It's time for your big acting debut, buddy. You there, Tok? Kido's call went off without a hitch. Ishimatsu's on the move. Great. Now we just have to find him and follow him. Don't fuck this up, man. Don't worry. Me and Sugira got it covered. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Nope. What the? Is that Ishimatsu? Nah. Just some bum, I guess. So I'm just kind of stuck here. I can't move, but I don't hear a cat also. So no. So there's unfortunately no. Oh, look, a cat. Nope, not him. Like he actually looks like legit agent 47, but shittier and not bald. 
I love how to elaborate shitty and not bald as the features. That's him right there, though. Like, come on. Hey. The gray suit, gloves. That's him. I have a bad feeling that the drunkenness is actually carrying in into this tailing mission. It did not feel like I was walking straight. Yeah, I think the game thinks I'm still drunk. I probably should not have actually started this when drunk. Bad idea. I thought Sugiura was going to tail with me. I mean, Kaito fucking did. And he did okay, despite... Well... Despite a lot of things. I'm not losing him. I'm not losing him. He's right there. Just because I don't see him doesn't mean he vanishes from existence. No <laughs> I do like the tailing music, but not necessarily tailing. I, I think I heard some people walk into the bikes over to my left. It was faint, but I heard it. Thankfully, that makes him stand out even more. Hey, Yagami, remember the last time you walked out in front and... Mm -hmm. Shit. Like, why would you do that? That's so... That's such a troll. Oh, my God. That, that may have been the biggest fucking tailing troll yet right there. Is he going to double back? Okay. Car a good spot? Yes, it is. Okay. Hey, how about a few drinks tonight? No, no, I'm in a hurry. Awesome. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to stay super focused on this stuff. Man, if ta like, I'm pretty sure tailing was brought back. I hope it is like leagues better than this. Because apparently there's like stealth in the new game, including stealth takedowns. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. It's cool that they're throwing new ideas out, but I don't know if this team can execute them well. Find out in a couple of weeks. Oh, no one. I'll be right there. Just stay hiding, Yagami. Come on, you don't need to... <sighs> okay, once he goes away... Don't worry, I'm just staring at the wall, citizens. I'm fine. I'm doing some self-reflection like Ono Michio-kun would. How is he getting away? He's right there. That animation still looks so goddamn silly. Are you going back downstairs? No. No, no, he is. He's taking the ramp. It's a, it's very good. Random citizens don't give a crap about what I'm doing. You know, like how in Hitman, <laughs> we're like, oh no, don't do that. Where I'm like crouching and then a random dude's like, uh, buddy, you're acting really weird, which is always funny. It's a good thing we don't have any snitches here. Save me steak, please, please. I'm here for some steak. Take your time. This is pretty this is pretty fucking long right now.
Wait, did a sign say Pie Girl 2? Oh, he's bolting. Holy shit. Okay. I legit almost lost him. Eyes are going to stay off chat for a small bit. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't pay attention to the sign. I'm trying not to get outed by Hitman. Even though he's not technically the Hitman Kuroiwa is, he's the super assassin. This is the first time someone jogged away during a tailing mission. There we go. It's a love hotel that closed down years ago. Perfect place to set up a mad scientist lab. Kaito-san, it's me. You find the place? We've got a building that looks the part, at least. We're gonna head in. Be careful, man. Yep. Let's do it. Right. Let's go, Yagami-san. We're locked in. We can't go back. At least I think so. Hold on. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, yeah, we are locked in. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, I think we're going to get our combo ready. Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. Who the hell are you? Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Oh, whoops. Hold up, good man. We're gonna combo speed maximum now. Let's go. Went pretty well. I bet those weren't the last of them, Yagami san. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. They'll know we're here, too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. God damn it, he knows. Who are these guys anyway? Ugh. Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's got to be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody would ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Are the two of us going to be able to get evidence off the secret lab? 
of the secret lab by ourselves? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. Eh, calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafia for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Dungeon time. I like how I'm just calling them dungeons now. Ugh, it's dark. Hold on. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Here. Let's be careful. All right, time for RP walk. Oh no, big boy. I love that they're just watching. Yo, look at the show he's putting on, yo. Um, what? Mas why? Why is the massage machine electrocuting? Am I able to... Okay, I'm, I can take it with me. Oh, wait, it's a puzzle? What? Excuse me? <laughs> okay. I never thought we'd get a puzzle involving a vibrator. Let's get another one. I want to see if we have a unique action with this. Please allow me to keep this. Good. Keep it down, Sukira. You're going to give me a heart attack. Sorry, sorry. Man, I never thought we'd have a spooky segment. This is already scarier than... Oh, he's still holding the vibrator. Come on. What is it this time? Segura? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? I can't believe we've been playing Silent Hill this whole time. We are now going to turn officially into Norman Reedus. Oh no, this guy... So, like, that guy is actually also in Yakuza 6. Don't ask. At least right now, don't ask. There's a special move where you get yank on his clothing and snap it. I don't know what that meant. Oh no, he dropped the vibrator. 
Yeah, those are sentences I said in a horror themed Almost section there. of this crime drama. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Almost there. That'll do it. No, go back, Yagami. I need that. Oh, yank on the. Okay. Nothing more horror. F Wedgie. Oh yeah. We're gonna Melvin death. Segura. The hell? Can't you see I'm trying to have some fun here? Uh oh. Christ. I give him three minutes, <laughs> and he's just another body. Oh, that's it? You just whack him? <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Okay, alright. <laughs> keep in mind, that wasn't doing any damage to me, so I'm alright. <laughs> That's so funny. But my friend's, like, gonna fucking die. I better be quick. No, don't turn that way. Remove. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Do it again. I want to get a tiger drop on you, buddy. Come on. Fuck. Okay, that's really hard to... There you go. I'll do it right. I promise. Oh, that's going to burn the whole meter. This was a mistake. I'm gonna keep thinking about that infinite, like, weep. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and all that's just reminding me of this episode of Power Rangers Ep SPD, where, like, the Green Ranger kept getting, like, thrown after attacks, and he always said, Whoa! After every throw. And it was, like, the same fucking voice clip, too, or sounded like it. Whoa! Oh, come on. Why, why did you prompt me to go here if this is not good? Why would you do that? Oh, cause the door? Oh my God, game. Sure, sure. Oh. Frontal beat down. Oh, wow. You know what? I should probably get that for safety. Um, mercilessly... Okay. Grab enemy from front and press triangle with during EX boost. Okay. That's cheap. Sure thing. Wait. I don't understand. They want me to go this way, but... Sex man... Says no. Oh, I actually cannot sprint here. I can sprint in there. What do you want me to do with sex, man? Yeah, they actually won't let me run during the spook parts. How do you like this? Ah! 
Oh, no well. Chance. You know what? I guess... I guess I'm smart. I'll take it. Oh, I wanted to get that action in. That's such a huge windup. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, his name was Hangman, right, yeah. Hey, I'm over here. Oh man. Nice. Oh, I can just block sledgehammers, okay. That shit hurts a lot. Um... <laughs> Throw another dildo at him? Not yet. There needs to be water. Oh, nice, Sugira! This is going to be risky. And I fucked up. Ooh, that was a good hit. Oh, get in the tub, baby. Why did I say it like that? There, get back in there. Yeah, sure. Get back in the tub, baby. What the fuck? End of the line. This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. <gasps> you two! What are you? Shono. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out, you did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids, DNA. Can you imagine? Just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light. I... I don't know what you're... Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex-Kajihira. 
that wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami-san, I... I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami-san? Fumia Terasawa. Terasawa? I'm the younger brother of Emi, who this bastard murdered. <laughs> Sugiro! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat. Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh, yeah? No crime was committed here. But, sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Yagami-kun. How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory. Our top secret research facility for AD-9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Hey. You should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> Shit, almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD-9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD-9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD-9's sake. What? But, sir... Many thanks. Truly. I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, everyone is to evacuate the premises at once.
I hope you can continue your research into 89 without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Dr. Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? It's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD-9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. And folks, with that, that's the end of the stream for the night. The next stream will absolutely be the last one. I can't believe we're almost there. Um, so one of two things can happen. I can either finish this game off Saturday or tomorrow because I have a normal eight to four thirty shift tomorrow. So I'll be able to start around, I guess, normal times more or less. I would like to get it done tomorrow, ideally. So I'm hoping I have the energy to do it. Because I... I want to take Saturday off to just focus on other stuff. But, um... Yeah! I'm glad we're finally close to the end, it seems like. Th yeah, the next chapter is... The finale. I don't know how long it's gonna be. So we'll just have to wing it, I guess. Um, after that, maybe sometime next week. Okay, you know what? Since I know we're going to still aim for finishing Judgment this week, let me double check my next week uh, schedule. Because all I know about my schedule next week is I am planning that IKEA trip. If Ikea has those uh, shelves in stock or else I'm not going to drive an hour and be like, oh, um, yeah, there's none in stock. Sorry, buddy. 
Hmm. Oh, that's rough. Ooh, none of these times seem good. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Next week, the earliest I can maybe stream is Tuesday, and that's sort of pushing it. Wednesday's possible. I'd probably be home in time enough after the theoretical Ikea trip, and then after that, uh would not be able to do anything until that Saturday. Christ. Okay. Yeah. And also no pinball tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't have anything else to add, but um, either once judgment is done, either we'll do another Terra Enigma stream or we'll just jump right into Metroid fusion before going back. But I think, We'll jump back into Terranigma. I think that's the easier option first. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to go and save my game. And we're not going to see the, um, we're not going to see the preview until next stream or the recap. So thank you for watching this roller coaster of a judgment stream. <laughs> I don't know if I want to call it the buggiest judgment stream, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but take care. Have a good night. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. Get vaccinated if you have or get vaccinated if you are able to, you know, the typical shit. Um, just make sure that vaccine is not 89. That is not a vaccine. Do not take 89. Please. Have a good night. I will see you later this week for the finale. Unless something goes wrong. But I think ideally it'll go right. Also, happy Dreamcast Day. Good night. <laughs>